here. All right, hello. Uh, well, Rachel, um, we're gonna start and uh, we're gonna see uh, what happens here. And um, we're gonna do the no push-ups class. And we're gonna start with uh, taking my glasses off. We're gonna do uh, alt nostril breathing. We start with the um, deer mudra. We're gonna put the thumb on the uh, right nostril with the fingers in the third eye here. So we're gonna breathe in through the left. We're gonna close both and then out through the right. And then in through the right. We're gonna close both out through the left. And in through the left. Close both out through the right, in through the right. Close both out through the left, in through the left. Close both out through the right, in through the right. Close both out through the left. Couple more in through the left. Close both out through the right, in through the right. Close both out through the left, in through the left. Close both out through the right. Very nice. We're going to do some more breathing, but the breathing will be done now with the uh, moving. So I'm going to scoot back. We want the hands on the knees. So with the hands on the knees, we're gonna breathe in and touch the sky. We're gonna breathe out and bring the hands back down. So the breathing is both directions in and out through the nose, breathing in, touching the sky, breathing out, hands uh, back down, breathing in all the way up, breathing out, back down. And let's keep going, we're gonna keep breathing and keep moving. We're going to take our time tonight. Couple more, breathing in, up, breathing out, down, breathing in, up, breathing out, down. One more, breathing in, up, we're gonna hold. Hold the breath, see if you can breathe in more. Hold that, and then everything out. We're gonna bring the right hand forward with the fingers pointing down. We're gonna grab the fingers and pull back. And we're going to take a few breaths here. Excellent. Let's do the other side. Left hand out. We'll pull those fingers back a little bit and we're going to breathe here. Excellent. You could shake those hands out because that can be a, a bit intense sometimes. And we're going to reach the right arm all the way up and bring it down the back. Left hand's going to grab the elbow. The head is going to push against the arm. Core is in. And we're going to breathe and stare straight forward.
Very nice. Let's do the other side of that left hand up, down the back, and then uh, right hand can grab the elbow. We pull that elbow a little bit over to the right so that the head can push right against uh, the kind of elbow joint. So both parts of the arm are getting a little bit of a push from the back of the head. And we breathe, core is engaged. Raise both hands on the knees, spine straight all the way to the crown of the head like there's a pencil on the top of your head. We're going to draw a circle on the ceiling. One direction here at first, and we're going to go a long time. In these moving poses, you can close your eyes because sometimes you can get dizzy and there is uh, really no visual lock on the moving poses, which we're going to do a lot of tonight. Great. Let's go the opposite direction, please. A little bit more. These Hollywood sirens are getting loud. Excellent. Back to center. So it's like cat, cat, cow, but we're sitting. So the hands stay on the uh, knees. The low set of ribs lunge a bit forward as we look up the third eye into the ceiling. And as you breathe out, we're going to arch the back looking at the floor and then back looking up. And then moving in the spine and head, just like cat and cow. A little more, please. Excellent. Back to center. We're going to put the right hand down, keep the right arm uh, straight, and the left palm is going to face the ceiling. And we're going to come up and over lengthening all the way through our um, left side. And then we're going to look up along the elbow to the ceiling and we'll continue to breathe right here. Great, so uh, we're going to switch sides, left hand down, right arm up and over, long reaching that straight line, breathing, looking up along the elbow to the ceiling. Good, back to center. I'm gonna do the first one so everyone knows what reverse plank is. So we're gonna do in between many of the poses, either reverse plank or full vinyasa. Full vinyasa is top of push up, up dog and down dog. And you're welcome to do that here, but I'm gonna do plank first, which is what a lot of people will do. We point the toes, hands are pointing towards the feet, towards the toes. We're gonna lift up the hips and look at the ceiling. 
Then we're going to come back down. We're going to bend the right leg with the right foot against the thigh here. Left hand grabs the toes. If you can't reach the foot without the leg bending, grab the shin instead. We're going to breathe in, touch the ceiling. We're going to breathe out, bringing the shoulder down, trying to touch the foot, and then all the way up again. And we're going to go over and over, please. And we keep on breathing. Good. Next time you're up, we're going to stay up. We're going to keep breathing. Let's bring both hands to the foot. You can bring the nose to the knees, or you can keep those shoulders locking way back, staring straight forward. We'll take several breaths. Right here, lengthening through the bottom of the legs and lengthening the breath in our nose. Very nice. We're going to do the other side. So a right leg out, left sole in. Right hand grabs the uh, right toes or the shin. Up with the left arm on the breathing in. Breathing out all the way down, all the way up again. Out breath is on the downward fold. We're going to keep moving and breathing. Right, next time you're up, we're gonna stay up for a couple breaths. And then your choice of bringing the nose to the knee or staying up, just lengthening through the legs. But definitely lock those shoulders back. We're gonna breathe here. Good, so it's your choice to do reverse plank, which we did on the first one, or I'm gonna do vinyasa on this one by putting the hands top of the mat, stepping back, lower drop, up dog, and down dog. And we're gonna sit down again. We're gonna bring the soles of the feet together, and we're gonna do a few variations of the collar pose. We're gonna start with the one where you take the thumbs down in the arches of your foot, you try to turn the feet open like a book. We don't force too much, but we're turning those feet open like a book. And then we're going to forward fold and push the elbows against the legs. And we're going to take several breaths here, trying to put our heart into the book. Good, and again, it's your choice to either reverse plank or uh, do the vinyasa. I'm gonna reverse plank, point the toes, lift the hips, and back down, soles of the feet together for the one that we normally do, left hand on top, right hand on top of that. We're gonna sit up tall, and we're going to butterfly the legs. You can skip the butterfly if you like, but pull the core in and up and the shoulders back and down and keep on breathing.
Good, and we're gonna forward fold again, pushing the elbows against the legs. Try to keep the shoulder blades back and together. And we try to put the heart or the low part of the sternum on the big toes. And we're gonna breathe right here. Good, your choice of the vinyasa or reverse plank. I'm reverse planking, I'm gonna lift the hips, point the toes, we'll take a couple of breaths here. And we sit again. We're gonna cross the legs and cross them super easy, just turning them in. If anything else works for you, you're welcome to do more. Hands on the shoulders, fingers down the front, thumbs down the back, core in. We're gonna to turn to one side, that will be the in-breath, the out-breath on the other side, and we're gonna move back and forth. As you notice that maybe one side is tighter, that's the side you should put the out-breath on. You can also do arms up in uh, goddess, or you can come all the way out with lots of leverage, your choice. Great, right hand grabs the left knee, left hand either right back behind you as we twist, gently looking back at the head, or that hand can come all the way around, grabbing your shirt, your pocket, or your leg. Sit up nice and tall, keep breathing. And all the way over to the other side, left hand grabs the right knee and then the right hand can either go right behind you or all the way around, pocket, maybe a shirt, sitting up tall. And again, we look at the eyeball line on the wall. Good, back to center. Your uh, opportunity to either vinyasa or we're gonna do reverse plank for those of you that wanna do that together with me. We point the toes, we lift the hips. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here. Great, right. and we're gonna come down. We're gonna roll forward into hands and knees so we can do cat and cow. Knees are two fists apart. We're going to let the belly drop down as we look up third eye. As we breathe out, we're going to arch the back. And we're going to move and breathe. And likely you'll want to close the eyes on this one. You don't have to. Good, back to center. We're gonna look over the right shoulder and see the tail. We'll take a couple of breaths here. And then over please to the other side. We'll take a couple of breaths here.
And let's push ourselves up to being on our knees. We're gonna do camel. I do have, I'm gonna keep my toes on the ground. If you're super flexible in the back, you can have the laces down. But uh, thumbs are going in the back. We're gonna pull the elbows together and we're gonna look up. Some of us will stay right here. Those of you that want to can tighten the legs and bring the fingers down to the heels. So you see if the feet were flat, they'd be a bit further away. And again, you could stay right with the thumbs in the back. We're gonna breathe here, lifting the heart a little bit to the ceiling. A few more breaths in the nose. Good, let's come back down for some more cat and cow. And back to center, we look over the shoulder on the right again. And to the left shoulder again. And we're gonna stand at the top of the mat because we're gonna pivot through some of the standing series. So once you're at the top of the mat, we're gonna start with a uh, warrior two. So we're just gonna step left foot back into warrior two, and that'll get us in our initial uh, initial heel to heel alignment. Arms out over the feet, knee mostly over the ankle. We're gonna breathe and stare at the right hand here. Let's straight the leg in the front for triangle. We're gonna reach out a bit and then right hand down, left arm up. And we're gonna breathe here, everywhere we are breathing. Good, come on up. We're gonna do our first pivot. We're gonna turn those right toes to 45 and your left toes are gonna turn out straight out the back of your mat. We're gonna bend the left leg for warrior two like we did on the previous side. And we're gonna breathe here and look at the left hand. Great, we're gonna straight the left leg and reach out over the left foot for triangle, ultimately left hand down, right arm up, and we're gonna breathe here. If possible, we're looking up to the reaching hand. If that bothers your neck, it's nice to look down because you do want the nose pointing right at the foot, it means you're lined up nice and even. Good, back up, we're gonna pivot again, left toes to 45, right toes out, warrior two again, with the bending of the right leg. We're gonna take several uh, breaths in warrior two. And let's convert this to extended side angle by taking the center of the right forearm on the leg, left arm long, reaching up and over, 
Those of you that want to put the right hand on the ground are welcome to. We're going to keep breathing and reaching here. We're going to come back up to warrior two, but we'll straight this leg so we can pivot. Right toes to 45, left toes out. So we're doing warrior two out the back again. And we're going to take several breaths here. The deep breathing, both directions, in and out through the nose. Get that yogic high through the breath. Good, again, forearm on the leg, right arm reaching up and over, and we're gonna breathe here. We're gonna come right up into the base of horse. So the toes are slightly splayed. The knees are opening out and let's put the hands just above the knees on the leg. You can put them there heavy. And then we're gonna bring the right shoulder forward. Back up and putting the, the out breath, bring the left shoulder forward on the forward movement. And then a bit back and forth. Let's hold the moon all the way up to the ceiling. Let the moon lift you up through the torso. Let your, your rear end lock down to the ground. We're going to breathe here. Excellent, straight the legs. We'll turn the toes to run straight forward. We're gonna reach up and touch the ceiling and we're coming all the way down with the hands dropping right under the shoulders. Maybe it's just fingertips, no problem. If it's very difficult, take the feet further apart. You could try to bring the palms down, bring the top of the head down towards the same line that the uh, big toes are connecting and the fingertips are connecting. And we're gonna breathe here. All the way back up, we're going to touch the ceiling. And then all the way back down, we're going to grab shins, ankles, or big toes with the peace fingers. We're going to pull the elbows away from the ears, top of the head reaching towards, again, the line, the center between the feet where the big toes are making the line, and we breathe here. And we're going to stay down low, both hands over to the right. And we're going to hold this a little longer than we normally do tonight. Left shoulder rotating under and through, breathing in the nose. And over, please, to the other side, right shoulder under and through.
Good. Let's come on up. And then we're going to step to the top of the mat. And you can shake it out a little bit if you like. And we're going to do a bunch of balancing, but from the forward facing. So um, we're going to stand on the left foot and we're going to do warrior three. So I bring the hands to the heart, a lot of different variations of the hands. And we're going to lift the right leg up. So whatever hand variation suits you is fine. From Warrior Three, you're welcome to stay in Warrior Three. You can also convert it to uh, Ardha Chandrasana, Half Moon. We're going to breathe here. If you want to switch the hands just for a moment. Good. And then let's stand. You can move around a little bit if you like. And then we're going to be on the uh, right foot for warrior three. We're coming back forward right here. Again, you could uh, stay in warrior three or Half moon. And if you want to switch the hands for that last couple of moments. Excellent. Let's stand again. We're going to move around. To me, this is going to feel like a break. Uh, we're going to do uh, three. Standing on the left, you can grab that right ankle. You can hold it up there. Maybe you can lock it. Hands of the heart, you're welcome to put it out in front too. You're welcome to bring the arms all the way up. Just breathing right here. All right, let's do the other side. Standing on the right, left is coming up. And we'll see if we can do a copy of whatever we did on the other side. Keep on breathing, copy that, core in. Excellent. Back to the left. The right knee is coming up. The right hand is going to grab the right knee, left hand on the hip. You could stay here. If you prefer, you can grab the big toe, extending that leg straight forward. We're going to stand up tall on the standing side. We're going to breathe. We're going to open that leg out to the right as we look over the left shoulder. Stay on the one foot back to center. Show me the bottom of your foot. Great. Let that go. Step it out. We're going to do the other side. So left is coming up, holding the left knee. And if you wanted to extend the leg, you could. We're going to breathe here.
Open that leg out to the left as you look over the right shoulder. And back to center, show me the bottom of your foot again. Excellent, you can move around a little bit. And then ultimately we are coming down into a squat, feet about the distance of the hips, but my toes are splayed out a bit. Elbows into the uh, legs, hands in prayer. We're gonna lengthen up the back. We're gonna stay right here for several breaths. Hands in prayer straight forward. We're coming all the way up to the ceiling and then all the way back down. Hands in prayer straight forward. Again, all the way up to the ceiling. Back down. Hands in prayer straight forward. Again, all the way up to the ceiling. Back down. Hands in prayer straight forward. One more tonight. All the way up. And back down. Let's come to hands and knees. Great. Let's do a little bit more cat cow here. We'll let the belly drop down for by looking, breathing out, arching the back. Just a couple since we've already done quite a few cat cows. Excellent. We're going to step the right foot uh, top of the mat with the left knee staying down. We're going to bring the arms up like a big funnel and we're going to take several breaths here. We're taking the left elbow outside of the right leg, hands in prayer, pulling in towards the chest, turn the fingers in the face, rotate that right shoulder back. You could keep the left knee down, you could roll back onto the ball of the foot if you want more work. Right, let's do the other side. Right knee goes back, left foot up to the top. We're gonna stay up with the arms like a funnel here for a couple of breaths. And right elbow outside of left leg. He stays over the ankle, hands into the chest, breathe here. We're staying a little longer. I hope if you lifted the knee on the last one, you did it on this side too. I didn't mention it till now. We got a few more breaths though. Great. Switch the feet again. Right foot up to the top, left knee staying in the back. This time, hands are going straight up. We're going to take a couple of breaths like this. And then we're going to bring those hands down on the inside. We're going to keep that right knee pulling against the uh, shoulder or the side. You could stay here. You could walk the hands forward and get in between, or you can actually get the elbows down. And then we're going to just find our edge, and we're going to breathe as we sit in that edge.
Okay, other side, right knee goes back, left foot up to the top. <clears throat> and again, we're reaching the arms straight up. We'll take several breaths here. And again, down on the inside and uh, keeping that knee against the shoulder and whatever you do with the hands, if you got the elbows down, great. There may be real different side to side, but do your best to try to match them up. Great, let's step that knee back and we're gonna come right to a seated position because we're gonna set up for our core work. So with the legs bent, we're not going straight there uh, right away. We're gonna do a twist in between the core work today. So left elbow outside of the right leg, right hand behind you as we shoulder back and look back and then over to the other side, right elbow outside. Shoulder back on the left, looking back. And then back to center, we roll onto the tail for the uh, first of five of the core work. We're gonna breathe here, keep the shoulders back. You could have the legs bent. Very nice, heels down, we twist again, left elbow outside of right. Right um, outside of left. Now we roll onto the tail for uh, a second. I'm gonna breathe here. Throw heels back down. We twist again, left elbow outside of right. Right elbow outside. Up again, please. Heels back down, we twist again, left out right. Over please to the other side. <clears throat> Up again, this is number four, we're getting close to the end. Throw it heels down again, twisting one side, twisting the other side. <clears throat> Up for the last one. And breathing here. All right, hug the knees in. We're gonna lie back. Let's hug those knees down into the belly. And we're going to thread the needle. So this is going to be our, uh, well, there's other hip openers that we did already, but let's put the feet down uh, flat out here in the front. We're going to lift the right knee up and bring the right ankle down the inside of the uh, left knee. And we're going to take the right hand and feed it through the legs, grabbing either the left shin or the underside of the leg, and then the other hand just comes and meets it. And then we're going to lie back. You may wish to bring your toes towards your shins and then try to uh, just relax in it as best as you can. We are breathing. We are thinking about the uh, right knee kind of going forward. It's a bit up and forward, but in that direction, away from the body. Excellent. Let's put the feet back down. We're going to do the other side. So left foot is coming up. We'll bring it down the inside of the right knee. I'm flexing my feet. Left arm is going to feed through, grabbing the shin right here on top of that. And we're going to lay back and breathe here. 
Good, feet down flat, it's your choice. I'm gonna do bridge. If you wanna do Urdhva Dhanurasana, that's great. We're gonna lift the hips, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers, push the arms down on the ground. You don't do this often and you could stay right here, but if you ever wanted to do supported, it's a bit intense on the thumbs because you take the thumbs under the low back and get up on the, the elbows. And that way you kind of have this, the hands are holding the hips. It's a little more extreme. We're gonna take several breaths here. Really does open those thumbs though. That's a bit shocking. Woo! Let's come back down, I'm shocked. We're going upside down. You could just put your feet up the wall. Uh, that's a great pose, but I'm going Plow first, we're kicking the feet up and over the head, legs in the direction of straight, hands can be on the back or intertwined fingers with the arms down, your choice. We're gonna take several breaths right here. If you want to scoot the elbows in closer to the distance of the shoulders, it's easier now than when we come up and we're coming up into shoulder stand. And we're going to take many breath here because we're going to do a couple of variations today. I don't rarely do them, but uh, we'll do them today. We're now just breathing, looking at the feet. We're going to let the legs part open. We're going to take several breaths here. If you're legging up the wall, you can also do this. It's a nice uh, stretch of the inner leg there. We're going to bring the soles and the feet together. We're going to hang out here for a little bit. If you have a belt or a strap around, we're going to do uh, that ending piece where we sometimes use that. I know a lot of you don't need it, but I need it. So just giving you the, uh, the heads up. Feet back to the ceiling again. Couple more breaths here. And we'll bring the knees to the ears and we'll roll down into dead bug. In dead bug, we're holding the feet, so the soles of the feet are up to the ceiling, knees in the armpits, head down. You could rock around if you like. Excellent, bring the knees into the chest for a moment. And then uh, we're gonna lay down flat. And if you have a belt and you wanted to use it, we're gonna do left on left. So the left foot would have the belt on it. If you could, if, if you don't have the belt, just grab behind your uh, calf. Uh, people that are uber flexible, grab the big toe, but you want the legs straight. And we're gonna take several breaths here. This is the one pose the, the, uh, the belt is really helpful. We are attempting to have the shoulder down on the ground or close. Good. 
We're gonna let that leg fall out to the left as we reach out and look to the right. And we're going to come all the way up. If you have the belt, switch hands on the belt. If you're holding the toe, you're going to switch hands on the toe or the back of the leg. Now that leg comes all the way over to the right. The hip comes way up. Left arm reaches out and we look to the left. We're gonna bring that leg back up to center. Both hands are gonna come up towards the heel, nose towards the knee, so the shoulders will come off the earth. We're gonna do our best to hold the right leg down on the ground, just with the strength of the leg. Excellent. Let that down and we're gonna prep the other side so it is right on right, however you did it on the other side. And we're gonna uh, breathe here. And let's let that leg fall out to the right as you reach out and look to the left. and all the way up and let that leg come on over to the other side. We'll switch hands on the leg also. And we'll reach out and look to the right. And let's bring that foot back at the center, both hands up towards the heel, nose towards the knee, left leg trying to lock down on the ground. Good, we're gonna let that down. So we're gonna be in final rest. I'm gonna set my spine up to open up my upper back a little bit. So if you wanna join me in that, what you would do is roll up the mat. And you probably wanna roll up kind of tight. And I'll show you once I lay down, but I want to do it sitting up so you know what it looks like. The, the mat is going down the spine. I like the mat to sit kind of at the center of my head so my neck doesn't drop off. So uh, I'm going to lay this down and then get on top of it so you can kind of see that a little more. So, yeah, middle of the head there. So I like to start with my feet on the ground so I can keep my uh, hips up. And then I relax them down and I can extend the legs out. You don't have to extend the legs out and then extend the arms out and just sink down as this. So now we have the shoulders are kind of above the earth and the gravity is pulling us open across the uh, front of the chest and also opening up the shoulders. And uh, anyways, we're gonna let the breath return to normal. And we're just gonna hang out here for a couple of minutes. You can hang out as long as you want. Uh, we're going to hang out together at least a couple minutes.
If you're comfortable, feel free to stay where you are as long as you like. To get off the mat, you kind of have to roll off to one side and push yourself up with the other hand. And I'm going to finish us out of here. But again, if you're comfortable to stay as you are. If you're going to sit with me, we sit them across the legs. And we're going to bring the hands in the heart center, rubbing them together, making a bit of fire. And then we're going to reach the arms up like a big funnel. We're going to take a breath in through the nose as much as we can get. We're going to breathe in more through the mouth and even more. Hold the breath, tighten the core, tighten the legs, lift the floor, hold all that for a moment. Then we let it all out. Ah. You're living your dream. Don't miss it. Namaste. It's DanielOverberger.com. You can find links to my Venmo and PayPal there. And that is that. That was our no push-ups class.